That is Ferris Provincial Park dealt with and done. We're out of here. We're heading to Peterborough now for some lunch, some quick rest and uh, peace before we do our grand power loop of the day. And as usual, if you're new here, uh, I like to do a narrated rip and then I'll also include a little bit of snippet in here first, but the narrator rip will be right afterwards. And then I'll have one cinematic post on the area perception space. So be sure to go and check that out as well. Uh, right now, we're gonna head out and see ya. As, as such, every single road trip necessity, gas. I usually don't fill up at uh, Shell, but we're straddled for gas and that's all that we have. So I'm gonna fill up at, at Shell and see, and then so we don't have to worry about the gas. Right now, currently at $40. Yep. It's fairly cheap here actually. It's 149 compared to where we were from. It's a 150 or something, 157 something. Oh, we're ready. All right, let's go. All right, let's go pay. And then Hopefully you are not recording me. No, no, no. I am too uh, handsome for that. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Uh, number six. All right, that was the first flight. Not so good. There's too much wind today. I, I, I don't know. It was whatever. Uh, mainly, I just want to get some footage. So that was that. Uh, we're going to pop another battery in. I'm not going to put the main camera on as we're trying to fly and get out quick. So we don't want to attract too much attention. But yeah, you know what it is. What are you doing? What are you doing? What you say? I know I am. YouTuber with no subscribers, that is. <laughs> Alright, let me pop another battery and we'll go. Alright, and away we go. So here, I was trying to, you know, do a little bit, little bit flippy floppy. Um, the wind kind of stopped me from doing that. There's a lot of wind, surprisingly. Um, surprisingly, today... Uh, like I know I'm by the waterfront, but still a lot of wind. But I will definitely be coming back here, ripping it, and it was a it was a fun spot. I um I want to go through the middle, but that to, but I want to go through the middle, but that day it was kind of risky, and I didn't want my quad getting stuck up there. 
as we had limited time and we were trying to move on. So here, uh, I tried to do another split S. As you can tell, not the best with the split S yet. It's honestly uh, quite a tricky move, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting the hang of it now. In current day, basically. But at that day, it was, it was really hard with the wind. It just kept pushing me forward and not letting me you know, smoothly go in. There was a lot of pot wash because of the, the mixed up winds and stuff like that. So we're just going to... So I just uh, low cruised on the water. You know, just do a couple, you know, flips, forward flips and stuff like that. Just simple stuff because it was way too windy to do anything. See, right there, I did not turn around. The wind pushed me that way. So it's crazy that, that um, it, it got to that point. And I tried to do the barrel rolls both ways. Should have flung it more here and like did an actual split S, but eh. It is what it is. And I wanted to go through, you know, the sides of the bridge. There are two, like, uh, entrances. I wanted to go through that, but again, the wind was like just a uh, uh, non-stop factor of uh, how I was flying that day. There was so much, like, so much wind. Of, it was just pushing the quads around so much that it was just, I don't know, really not flyable. All right, and there Wesley's just scared that I'm gonna hit him. So he always does that. Whenever I come close, he he always like hangs up his arm like that, and that's. <laughs> and away we go. This is the last pack for Trent University. It, uh, like I said, it was a blast of, of a fun spot to fly. Here we're just gonna keep doing what we're gonna do. I think in this clip because I'm recording this in post date. I get a little, a little bit more risky flying here, um, just like a lot of, a lot more jiggly freestyle if you want to call it because again prop wash, the wind, and just I'm not good in uh, freestyle and of course over the water it's it's so nerve wracking because A, you if you fail safe or you crash it's you know your quad going into a, a sink right. So yeah, there was just a lot of risk that day. And plus, uh, right after this, uh, which you'll be seeing coming up in the next episode, was um, my actual, like the shot that I actually wanted th that day. So uh, at, this, at this point, I just didn't want to put the quad into the water or I like, destroy the quad so much. Just um, doing a nice little flight throughout the courtyard and so on and so on. Now a big drill press, uh, that's what I want to call this trip, it's when I go and do a big like split at, no, a big flip or a big power loop and then end up into the air falling, free falling and then I just like corkscrew downwards, so I want to call it a drill press, so that's what I'm going to call it. If you guys know what the name of that, that trick is, uh, be sure to leave it in the comments below, but I'm just going to call it a drill press, so that's what I've been that's like my signature trick. I love doing them every single like, place I fly. So here, um, if you see the bobbles, it's it's partially me on the sticks because my rates are so like sensitive, and I, as well, the wind was fighting me like crazy that day. As I, as I keep emphasizing, but we're gonna do some nice orbits. Orbits can cle be cleaned up for sure. Um, in present day, I, I kind of cleaned it up a little bit. It's uh, a lot better than what uh, was done here. So I want to come back to Trent and fly this um, location again. Um, let's see. Now we're just going to do a nice solid cruise over the water. Turn around. And I think I lined this up for a split uh, power loop. Yeah? No. Eh, it was like a reverse split ass because I started from the bottom and end up top. And here I come in and do another orbit, I believe, because I can't get enough of the structure. See, the wind kind of stopped me there and I had to kind of wiggle again just to get going. Um, and whoa, see, that's that's what I'm talking about. The wind just, like, it's crazy. It was crazy that day, the breathing, like the wind, 
patterns were just crazy that day. Here I'm searching for a landing spot, just making sure nobody's around. That's why I'm spinning around and boom. Okay, so that was flying at Trent University. It's, I love this place, honestly, Wesley. Like, despite what we say about the cobblestone buildings and stuff, I pretty, I like this place. There's so much intricate, like, ways you can kind of weave in and out here. Like, this stone structure here, I was just like orbiting it. I'm, I'm too chicken to go through the middle of it, but I'm sure I can. Maybe with the Protex, I have bumpers, so I don't. Yeah, there's no plant. Oh, yeah. Oh no, I don't even think the Protec can fly over the river. It's too windy. It's gonna get blown. But yeah, Trent University is not bad. And their infrastructure is looks nice. Structure, sorry. And then everyone's leaving for the A2. I think this is actually the best time to fly here. Yeah. Because everyone's gone. Yeah. But yeah, the, um, I didn't want to make a, a uh, face cam for this um, as we were trying to get like a quick two pack in and then get out because the next location we're going to is an epic location and I'm gonna try, try to power loop despite my fears of losing the Nazgul. For sure I'll switch out the memory card so that at least I have some footage if, in case it gets lost. So until next time Trent University, peace out. Might come back though. How far was the driver? Yeah. Like if, if it's a whole day of flying, yeah, it's worth it. All right, back to the car. Let's get out here. We're here at the Trestle Bridge.